What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Food Service Driver back in the building again. Um, this gonna be a a tip video for uh, uh mostly McLean drivers or if you like food service and you go out of town to do a route, it may apply to you too. So you can just take it how you want to take it. Basically, over here at McLean remote routes, basically you out for two days and you come back home. Um, a lot of subscribers always ask me how do I always get done so quick on the two day. So here's the deal that trainers do not want to tell, you know, trainees and you know whatnot when they come in. You could do a two day faster than what it is on the paperwork. So let me give you an example. So my route last night, it dispatched at 10 o'clock. One thing I learned at McLean, your load is loaded one to two hours before route so i got to work at eight o'clock and my trailer was ready paperwork was printed out whatnot depending on your dc you can leave real early or you can leave on time here's what i do i leave real early so my route dispatch at 10 i left at eight o'clock eight o'clock taking about 15 20 minutes check my key check my paperwork rolled out so when i get to my first stop I'm literally, depending on how fast you drive and whatnot, I'm already an hour and a half to two hours ahead of schedule, right? So while I'm ahead, use that to your advantage. Get the shit off the truck as fast as you can. I've been doing it all night, rolling it, rolling it, rolling it to the point where now, if I want to, I can go into the next day routes and deliver those stories now here's here's the catch here's the catch to not get in trouble doing here's the catch when you look at your route sheet it will tell you what time you have to be at the store the next following night to deliver right here's what i do i got done with my route last night at four no at 5 15 5 30 in the morning my next stops for tomorrow night which basically is tonight I have a Pizza Hut, a Taco Bell, well, two Pizza Huts, no, three Pizza Huts and two Taco Bell. If anybody works in McLean, no, Pizza Hut does not get to the store till 10, like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And Taco Bell, depending on your location, ours shut down for breakfast, so they open until 11. So that's perfect. What I do is I get to the store, deliver their stuff drop off the paperwork and that's how I stay ahead of schedule so I've been doing that all night up until you know I was getting to the point where customers will you know eventually arrive at the store and then then you would just have to just don't deliver because here's the thing if you deliver early and the customer catch you delivering early they have the right to refuse delivery which means if you already put stuff in the store they can refuse it you have to take literally everything out the store and come back the following night but if you already deliver it they can't tell you to take it back because it's already been delivered it's off your truck it's been delivered that's the purpose of a key drop key drop you go in you deliver and that's it so now i had 14 stops in my truck i just did 12 last night so now i only got two stops for tomorrow my first the 13th stop i'm not even supposed to be there till like three in the morning and then the 14th stop i'm not supposed to be there till 4 15 but guess what i'm gonna start my clock early tonight well there's a time window so you got to be careful on the on the manifest tell you the time when we can deliver i'm gonna get up at midnight because the time windows for those stores are between 12 12 and 7 30 as long as you deliver within that time window, it don't matter what time you deliver. As long as you're within that time window, that's all my client cares about. So now, I'm going to get up at midnight, deliver those two stores. I'm going to be back at home like 4 o'clock in the morning and then go to sleep. So that's the thing that people don't want to tell you. There's a lot of tricks and tips. When you look on your manifest and how to tell you can deliver it to a store early, just think about it this way. When you Google Maps the store, it'll tell you the time the store open or time the store close. What you got to do, you got to give a buffer time. You got to give it about one hour, one hour, 30 minutes. So the store opens at 11, then you could put in your mind, say like around 9, 30, 10 o'clock, somebody's going to be there. Because usually they get there earlier. 
to put up the truck or you know prep for the for prep for the day. So that's how you could not cheat the system, but that's how you could beat the system real fast so you can get home early so you can go back on route and make more money. So now when I get back early, I'm gonna end up scooping up another sweet route for the following night and then I'm gonna make more money. See the, see what you gotta realize is you gotta work the system to your advantage. Not a lot of people say like I had a trainee, you know, that was on my truck and he was, you know, we the first day we had seven stops and then the next day we had eight stops. So after the seven stop he was like, Why are we not back? why are we not going to the hotel? Why would I wanna to go to the hotel? If if I have hours on my clock, I'm gonna burn them hours up until the point I have no hours left and I need to shut down. When we was done at six hours left, why wouldn't I wanna to deliver to get the rest of the stops rest of the stops off the truck for the next night so that way I can get as much sleep as I can, you know, rest up until the following night. You gotta you gotta learn how to use your clock to the best of your knowledge. You gotta learn how to use it. Just because you got a 14 hour clock and you're like, oh, I finished the route in seven hours. I'm gonna go to the hotel and go to sleep. Why would I wanna go to sleep and I can get more stuff off the truck that same morning? I'm already working, then I wake up the following night and I gotta work even harder because usually the first half of your route is light and the second half is the heaviest. So if I got hours, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get that shit off the truck. You know what I'm saying? So you got to learn how to use your clock. So now, I got two stops left for tonight. So I'm going to get back real early, and I'm going to sleep. So now, I'm so early. Between the time right now till the first stop, I got 15 hours. Versus if I would have did it. Versus if I would have, you know delivered how I was supposed to then I only get about 10 or 11 and then I have to wake up and go knock out them other stores that I didn't do but now since I knocked it out I'm so far ahead I can BS for the rest of the night and I can still make any time to drop those you know those stops off you gotta learn how to learn run remotes you gotta learn how to run it McLean is easy to make money you just gotta learn the tips and the tricks to get this stuff done like I said but the thing about it here's here's another tip when you deliver to the stores the next day, you cannot clock them in because if you clock them in, you're gonna get penalized. And the reason you're gonna get penalized is because the customers have a time window of when they get their stuff and when they're supposed to receive their truck. So if you're gonna do that, just, you can still scan, you can scan it, but you just can't clock it in. So now tonight, I'm gonna get up later on tonight and I'm gonna go, you know, punch in the rest of the other stores. See the thing is, you can learn. You thing is, you gotta learn the tips and the tricks to make money. And you see, the thing about me is, I feel like as food service drivers, we all gotta eat. So I'm gonna give you the tips and the tricks that you know people don't want to tell you, and you know what I'm saying people don't want to do it. I've been doing this for two years, right? None of my customers complain about getting their truck early. None of my customers call and say. That I messed up the delivery, none of that. As long as you, you know, so now tonight I'm gonna go punch in as if I was there, punch in, you know, punch in the first stop, couple minutes away, punch in the next one, couple minutes away, punch in the third, fourth, and then I'm gonna go back in my bed, go to sleep, and then when it's time to roll out to the next door, then all I do is when I roll out to the next door, it's gonna pop up, say if you arrived or not, I'm gonna hit arrive and I'm gonna deliver because now I'm gonna be in a time window for midnight to 7 30 in the morning so i could go anywhere between that time but on the paper it says i would get that four o'clock due to the route because every route is designed for the driver they take in consideration the cases and if you have to go long walks or if you gotta go through the back door they take all that consent but when I, but when you run real fast you could you could be ahead of schedule so now i'm so far ahead of schedule i'm gonna knock out these two stops tonight i'm gonna go to my bed go home and go to sleep so that's a, this is a tip for remote routes only. Not driver, driver, not local. So if you want to know any more tips on how to run driver, drivers, and how to run locals to make the best of your money, hit me up. Leave your comments in the section, comment section below, and I'll get to you as soon as possible. But remember, great tips 
I got the tips for you. I'm not gonna leave no. We all gonna eat. You know what I'm saying? McClane. We all gonna eat. 